court systems are set up to men's disadvantage. How court systems were set up in a way that made men really screwed financially if mm-hmm. they were to get a divorce through alimony. Mm-hmm. And also where men wouldn't be able to keep their children as easily. Right. You know, I know so, you've done a lot of research into this. And so we were talking about last week how and the sources custody exchange. Uh, we we're talking about last week how more women are, you know, g- given custody like the vast majority of the time when there's a custody battle. Um, a lot of this is due to the previous stereotypes associated with women being mm-hmm. homemakers, child rearers, staying in the home. But now that gender roles have changed like a lot over the last 50 years, a lot of women work outside the home. Most women work mm-hmm. outside the home, either in a, in a part-time or full-time position. And so um, to be fair, about 50% of child custody cases, both parents agree that the woman should be the primary caretaker, which is a lot of times natural and what works best for that family. But in the other half of instances, the male gets full custody of the child only like about one out of every five times when they actually do fight for that. And I I think that's wrong. And we have so many resources for single mothers, not so much for single men. And there was a a study that showed that single fathers actually struggle financially more than single mothers. And I don't think a lot of people expect that at all. The source from here is personal capital. Single dads also, um, they, during the pandemic, actually single working dads were much more likely to withdraw money for their retirement or savings accounts than the general population. They were much more likely to adjust um, their budgets more than the general population, including single mothers. And they were more likely to be worried about their financial future. So the government lockdowns wow. combined with the government denigrating of masculinity, combined with the government ripping father, you know, ripping, um, you know, their children away from them and not providing help. Or if they do have the full custody of their children, there's a total resource desert. They're they're desperate. They're literally digging into their retirement plans. But not to say that single mothers don't struggle because they certainly do. Every single parent struggles to some yeah. degree. But there's so many more resources for single right. women. And in general, there's a lot more resources for women-related issues. Mm -hmm. I think this kind of gets to another point where when women are victimized, it's like attention immediately attracts to that because we're seen as more vulnerable Mm -hmm. um, and people immediately want to help. But when it comes to men, they're meant to bolster so shoulder so much responsibility for not just themselves, but for everyone else around them. And a lot of times they don't ask for help, but a lot of times more often than not, they're not offered help. When they do ask for help, we don't give them a lot of sympathy either. A lot of people say, Mm -hmm. suck it up, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah. And I know in society that works if the, if, you know, if the government is getting involved, I would rather not government get Mm -hmm. involved with, involved with a lot of social programs, but as a society, as, as people in communities and neighborhoods, I do think we have a responsibility to step up and ask people, even if they don't even necessarily feel comfortable asking for help, because I also think that a woman is much more likely to ask for help because she will mm-hmm. be re- she will receive help. Like you said, yeah. a lot of men just don't even want to speak up about it because they feel like they have to bear the weight of the world while at the same time being responsible for all the patriarchy yeah. and all the societal problems in the world. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure. 